Hello everyone, welcome to the Into the Pit plush review, custom plush review. Uh, that's weird. I've already made an Into the Pit Spring Bonnie before, so if it's not about Spring Bonnie, then who could this possibly be about? It's Jeff. Yeah, it's Jeff. Yeah, we all love Jeff. Eee, it's Jeff. Oh yeah, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff. It's pizza. Yeah, we love Jeff. Oh yeah, it's Jeff. It's Jeff. Jeff. Okay, so today we are reviewing my custom plushie. Of a fan favorite character from the Into the Pit game, Jeff of Jeff's Pizza. That's right, it's Jeff, everybody. We all love Jeff. Alright, so as these plush reviews go, first I'm gonna discuss the character, and then I'm gonna discuss the plushie. So, if you don't remember Jeff in the game, uh, and in the books, I guess, a little bit of both, uh, in the game and the books, you know, Jeff is the owner of Jeff's Pizza. It seems like there's not really anyone else running this thing. It seems like Jeff has kind of a one-man show going on. We don't really any, ever see any other people working there in the game. I don't remember there being other people in the book. So. But anyways, yeah, we got Jeff. He owns Jeff's Pizza, which used to be a Freddy's Pizza. Until, of course, Into the Pit Spring Bonnie killed those kids in the 80s. But of course, in the Into the Pit game, you can fix things, I think. But I guess, you know, you it's complicated. But yeah, in the books, uh, Oswald describes Jeff of kind of looking like a zombie. You know, even though he's probably just in his 30s and depressed, which... Hey, I'm not in my 30s, but I understand, bro. I understand. So, of course, I based Jeff's appearance off of how he looks in the Into the Pit game... Of course, because obviously, I made Jeff to celebrate the Into the Pit game. You know, not the, not the graphic novel. The graphic novel, graphic novel Jeff was not not the prettiest of folks. Just, just, ugh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I was thinking about, I was thinking about graphic novel Jeff. But this is this is Into the Pit game Jeff. You know, this is Jeff. This is the Jeff. This is Jeff right here. We all love Jeff. Yeah, this is Jeff. So about Jeff's outfit, uh, well, he always wears this apron. So unfortunately, we don't really get to see what most of his clothes looks like, but we could tell that he wears an orange shirt and some sort of blue thing as well. I assumed it was a vest, so obviously I made it a vest. But he also wears orange pants, which seem to be the same color as his shirt, so I'm not sure if it's like a one-piece outfit or if his pants just are coincidentally the same color as his shirt. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. And we've got his shoes, got his hands, got his sleeves with his hands. Yeah, I did a little bit of, like, marker around his face, you know, make him look sad. And, you know, around his eyes as well. You know, we got his nose and ears. Got the different points of hair sticking out. You know, got the, the one right here. Got one right here. And we also have one over his eyebrow that isn't really visible, but it's there. Also, I didn't really uh, attach Jeff's mouth all the way. It's just attached in the middle. So that way, if I want to... Hey, look, it's Happy Jeff. We all love Happy Jeff. And then, if we don't want Happy Jeff, we have Sad Jeff. But I like to keep it just Neutral Jeff. Yeah, this is Neutral Jeff. Yeah, just Jeff right here. Just Jeff. Alright, so let me bring out some other guys to scale with Jeff. Obviously, we have Into the Pit Spring Bonnie right there, but he's a... He's a custom, you know, only I know how big he is. You guys can't really tell how big he is, so. Uh, let's bring out Spring Bonnie, regular Spring Bonnie, and Springtrap. You know, he's about the, he's about the same size as the regular, the regular Funko plushies. Uh, obviously, Jeff is more based on the style of the body style of characters like Ennard or Baby. So obviously, you know, got the got the long limbs. Uh, if we judge the height difference between Jeff and Ennard, uh, Jeff is a little bit taller than Ennard. Yeah, he's a little bit taller. But uh, let me compare him to some other custom plushies of mine. Here's the mimic. I'm not gonna do the thing. I am gonna do the thing. The mimic. Anyways, uh, yeah, there. Jeff is a teeny bit taller than the mimic. I think. I don't know, it's hard to tell, because... Oh, let me let me stand up, Jeff. Yeah, it seems like Jeff is a teensy bit taller than the Mimic if you go by his hair, you know. If you go by his forehead, they're about the same height. 
And then if you judge him by the Princess Quest monster glitch trap thing, it's not blobby thing, I I haven't reviewed this guy. I don't plan on reviewing this guy. So you'll see him in future episodes. So he is shorter than the Princess Quest glitch trap. Yeah, let me get him out of here. So yeah, that's Jeff of Jeff's Pizza. I don't really have much to say about Jeff of Jeff's Pizza. You know, he's Jeff. We all know Jeff. Or at least, you know, if you've read Into the Pit or played Into the Pit, then you know Jeff. Yeah, that's Jeff. Uh, I don't really know how to end this video, so, uh, Spring Bonnie, do something funny. Uh, okay. Alright, come here, Jeff. <laughs> oh, crap, he hanged himself just like he did at the end of Into the Pit, both the story and the game. Wow, that's crazy. It's not like he's gonna kill me or something like he did at the end of one of the endings in Into the Pit. Sorry for spoilers. Spoiler warning. Oh, so, spoiler warning. Sorry, I'm Jeff. Yeah, I'm Jeff. Jeff's Pizza. Uh, actually, I'm not dead. I'm gonna bite your head off now. Wait, what? Jeff, no! Anyways, uh, like and subscribe for more adventures of Jeff and Spring Bonnie. Any Spring Bonnie? There's like, how many of them now? Anyway, you know, the... The Spider-Man pointing means the spring traps and spring bonnies and whatever. Anyway, Jeff! Yeah, Jeff!